The King of the KO is back in Monster Hunter Generations, and thanks to Adept Style, it has some new tricks up its sleeve. Welcome to my tutorial on the hammer. Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. What follows is my weapon tutorial from Monster Hunter Generations, and if you already know everything from it and you just want to jump to what are the changes in Generations Ultimate, about the new art, Alchemy style and Valor style, jump to the timestamp in the description down below. If you're new to Generations or you want to have a refresher, please sit back and enjoy the entire video. The hammer by design is meant to be a simplistic weapon, but thanks to its simplicity, it becomes a very deeply nuanced weapon. It's easy to use, but takes a lifetime to master. So when you're wielding a hammer, you really don't see a monster jumping around in front of you. What you're supposed to see is a head that's just moving all around. The body parts of the monster are simply obstacles that can hit you or get in the way of your target. Similar to the great sword, the hammer is a hit and run weapon. You'll hold R to charge up your hammer, and when you see an opening, you'll run in, release R, and smack that monster's head. When the monster is down or KO'd, you'll pound it in. It's simple, it's challenging, and most importantly, it's fun. Guild Style since all the other styles derive from guild style, we'll take a look at that one first. A quick note about motion values. When I show each move, I'm going to show on the bottom right hand side all the motion values for each move. However, there's going to be three different values. The first one is the motion value of the damage, the second one is the stun damage, and the third one is exhaust. In the description below, I have a link to my stun and exhaust tutorial, so please check them out and realize that this also is a feature of the weapon. Your draw attack is a nice upward chuck. I say chuck because it'll send your teammates flying into the air if you hit them with it. The X button idle is kind of your bread and butter pound. It's just a nice solid pound. You can press X again to follow up with a weaker second pound. Note that you can transition to a charge from the second hit but not the first. Press X one more time to finish the three hit combo with what we call the home run. This attack has very high stun damage. Note that it's kind of a right curve, so if you stand at an angle in front of the monster's head, you can smack it nice and dead on. You can also transition to a charge from it by holding R. Finally, you can press A to do a quick side smack. It's a fast, it has good stun value, and you can go into the charge from it as well. You can act as a substitute for the first hammer pound in the 3 hit combo. So you may be asking yourself why would you do AXX instead of XXX? The super armor that you get from the side smack will continue all the way through the second pound which does not have super armor. Which means that all throughout the entire 3 hit combo you're not going to get knocked out of it by something small and stupid. And while the XXX attack is more powerful. The super armor on that first pound will wear off before it gets through the second hit, meaning that you can find yourself getting knocked out of it. Okay, now let's take a look at the charge mechanic as that is really the core of this weapon. Simply hold R to start charging your hammer. You can also do R plus X plus A if you want to draw into a charge. Unlike Greatsword, you can move around while you're charging your weapon, but your stamina will slowly deplete, so make sure you keep an eye on it. You can also evade out of the charge, which is really important to keep in mind, because if you get too greedy with this weapon, you'll end up either running out of stamina completely, or just missing all the time. Let's take a look at all the different ones that you can do. The level 1 charge, which is basically you tap R and you let go and you didn't charge it up at all, is just a nice simple smack. You can press X after it to go into the upper chuck. Then you can do the XXX combo from there. The level 1 attack is a good way to go from a home run after a triple X combo right into another X combo, sort of like a link between them. The level 2 charge is a wonderful running uppercut. It has high stun and it reaches pretty high which is really great for a monster that holds its head a little bit higher off the ground. The uppercut will send your teammates flying but it is pretty narrow so as long as you're not being reckless you probably won't be hitting people into the air accidentally. Finally, the level 3 charge has two variations depending on if you're moving or if you're idle. If you're idle, you'll do the super stomp. Now while the level 2 attack is all about high stun, the level 3 charge is about exhaust damage. This move will send your teammates rolling, so make sure if you use this online that you're really careful. If you're moving though, you can release the R button and your level 3 will become a super spin. You'll do a total of 6 spins. 
Press X during the first one to three hits to do a left hook. You can go into the X combo from here as well. If you can wait until the fourth to six hit, press X during that to do a full swing. This is a much powerful finisher move. Do note though that if you go all the way through the six spin and you overspin, you'll do a weaker finisher, which is bad because you can't evade after you do this move. When you jump off a ledge, just press X and you'll do a jump attack. Now note, because the hammer is a very heavy weapon, all the jump attacks are actually pretty strong for this weapon. Also note that you can walk up and down ledges while you're charging, which is pretty cool. Okay, now we've seen the regular jump attack, but what happens if you jump off a ledge when you're charging your hammer? Well, there's actually different type of jump attacks that you can do for each charge level. The level one is almost impossible to pull off because you're literally just gonna tap X, jump off a ledge at that second and then attack, which is almost impossible. It's just a normal pound that's more powerful than the regular jump attack. The level two charge jump attack is another pound, but it can be followed up with a stationary uppercut. And finally, the level three jump attack is a powerful pound that goes right into the full swing just by pressing X. Now the armor skill called Focus does make the hammer charge faster, which is fine if you're playing solo or you're using that level 3 charge a lot, but it also makes that run and uppercut really hard to use because it charges past it so fast. So I don't personally use it, but it's really up to your playstyle. Okay, now let's take a look at Striker Style. The Striker Style comes with two major changes. The first one is you lose the final finisher of the level 3 spinning attack, and you just do a left hook. No big deal. But the next one is... For your normal 3 hit combo, you do not end in a home run, you just do 3 normal stomps now. It's kinda anticlimactic. This style is all about exhaust and creating opportunities though. The striker style charge speed by natural default is 1.5 times faster than all the other styles, making it super easy to access that super slam, which itself is a little bit more powerful than the other styles as well. The level 3 super slam is about 8% more powerful than the other styles. It's not a huge difference, but it does help. Aerial Style The Aerial Style is all about KO and all about mounting. The ground level 3 charge changes and becomes a stronger version of the level 2 run-in uppercut, which is pretty darn awesome. The aerial attacks are kinda hard to hit, so they're only meant to be done when you have a really big opening or if you're going for a mount, which is a little bit different than the other styles. Press B to do your aerial vault, and again, if you touch something like a monster, or another hunter, or even a bomb, you'll jump off of it through an aerial vault. From there, you can press R to go into a charge. You can press X to do a just a regular aerial smack. And if you feel you have your position down, you can press A in the air, and what this does is a delayed combo. If you connect with this hit with the A button, you'll follow it up with a second strike in the air, which is pretty awesome to look at. The first hit is pretty powerful, and the second hit is even more powerful. From the ground, you can evade right afterwards, making this a pretty sweet move to go for if you know the monster isn't moving. Next up, the Adept Style. Now here is a style that works really well with the hammer by default, because you're normally running away and looking for an opening anyways. If you do an Adept Evade, and then hold R, you'll go into the new thing called the Strong Charge. This is a new mode for the hammer, and all the charge attacks that it can do are brand new. What makes this style really great is that it really doesn't matter if you're evading towards a monster, away from a monster, or anything, because you don't do that little roadie run that most of the Blade Master weapons do after you do the evade. The level 1 supercharge is just a nice basic smack. The level 2 is a massive uppercut. And the level 3 has two versions. As idle, it's a mega slam. And if you're moving and you release it for level 3, you'll do a wind-up slam, which is actually a little bit weaker than the idle. So I think by design, you're supposed to be going for the idle level 3, not the moving one. And as if that weren't enough, you also get new jump attacks for all of the new supercharges. Here's the level 1. Here is the level 2. And finally, here is the level 3. For Adept, it's all about KO. All of these new charge moves have really high KO values, and it's just really fun to use. Now for a downside for the style, your level 1 charge you can no longer combo off of, and your level 2 is now a stronger combo smack, but you lose the uppercut. Kinda sucks, because I love that uppercut, but you know what? The strong charge moves are totally worth it. 
Okay, before we go over and compare each style, let's take a look at all the different hunter arts. The Spinning Meteor. Now, contrary to what it looks like, this is not an attack that is meant to be like instant KOing monsters. This is actually about raw damage. The spins themselves are pretty weak, but the final hit is really powerful. So it's five spins followed by a massive powerful hit. It's great that the monster is trapped or exhausted. The art itself doesn't charge up very fast, so you have to make sure you make it count. The Super Taunt. When you do the Super Taunt, you'll do a small hit, but hit or miss you get the same effect. For the next 60 seconds, the monster will be all over you. And I mean like all over you. The Super Taunt works really fast and really well, so it's awesome for online if you want to lure the monster into a trap. The Typhoon Trigger. Out of the 1 to 7 hits, they're actually doing almost no power. They're actually really weak, so don't think that that's the main point. It's really about the finisher. The stun damages on this move are ridiculous. And again, it charges up really fast, so this is one that you definitely want to get used to using. Final thoughts. So all the styles for Hammer are really good. I really can't help but feel though with Striker style that it's more for solo play due to the focus on the super slam and exhausting monsters. However, the lack of the home run at the end of the three hit combo really just makes it not that satisfying for me to use. So I would choose Guild over style on that alone. Aerial requires a great understanding of when to go for the aerial hit, but as the hammer itself you don't evade around a lot to begin with, again you can really play this style without changing up your mentality all that much. I love the fact that the level 3 charge is now a stronger uppercut, as that was my favorite attack for the hammer. The add up style of course is absolutely amazing, you have to try it out. Not having to worry about what direction you do the evade, and getting free evasion plus for hammer is really big. Plus, all the new moves are really powerful and really fun. The hammer was kind of knocked out of the scene in Monster Hunter 4 U thanks to the charge blade and its overpowered stun values. But now that that's been fixed and the hammer has some new tricks, it's definitely be a viable weapon. Changes. Aerial style hammer is now far better at stunning monsters. The A attacks that you can do in the air after an aerial vault are a little tad weaker physically, but stun went from 10 and 15 to 15 and 55. For arts, the spinning meteor hunting art got a huge buff and at level 3 now does a massive 260 motion, 110 exhaust, and 85 stun if you land all the hits. And finally, taunt got a boost as well. At level 2, it boosts your defense by 20% for 60 seconds, and at level 3, it boosts your attack by plus 15, so it can now be used as an aggressive skill as well. Alchemy Style Control wise, it's almost identical to guild style, but you do get to equip 3 arts instead of 2, and you can set any of them as SP arts as well. As a price, the spinning level 3 charge is now removed. Personally, I say good riddance. And you cannot combo after the 3 hit combo finisher, so you'll have to cancel evade afterwards. Small price to pay for access to that awesome alchemy barrel. Overall, I say it shows a lot of promise, especially online. Valor Style this is one of the least popular weapon style combos in the game. Outside of Valor mode, you lose everything that makes the hammer good. Your 3 hit combo is just 2 hits, and your charge can only go up to level 2. You do get access to the Valor sheath, which is nice since hammer usually doesn't have a way to defend itself though. For cancel attacks, you can hold Y and press X to do a wind up strike, or A to do a side smack. Both take considerable amount of time, especially the one with the X button. Once you are in Valor mode, your charge attacks changes. First off, it's worth mentioning that like a lot of the Blademaster weapons, you get that awesome Valor Step, which you can do indefinitely if you have enough stamina. Once you perform a level 1 charge, you can hold R and immediately go into a strong charge level 2. Then you release that and hold R and you go straight into a level 3. If you do it fast and stationary, it's a pretty fun combo. The last charge, if you hold it for any more than just a small second, it transforms from the smash into the true charge, which is a much longer wind up and strike, so make sure you know how to use those two differently. It is worth noting though you can purposely swing at the air in order to just go up the ladder and go up to the higher charge. While these attacks are powerful and look and feel very good, I say it's a huge price to pay against G rank monsters. One hit or evade and you're back to the start. A neat idea but questionable as it will take a true hammer pro to be able to take advantage of all these new charge moves. New Hunter Art at level 1 this lasts for 80 seconds, level 2 100 seconds, and at level 3 it lasts for 2 full minutes. Every time you do a charge attack, you'll get an additional hit on the monster which does exhaust and stun, one hit per level charge that you did. Each hit is worth 6 motion value, so just a little bit of attack, 
4 exhaust and 12 stun. So if you hit with a level 3 charge, it does 3 additional impacts of these things. Think of it kind of like an impact file for a charge blade in a way. It highly increases your KO capability, so if you're using something like the guild style, or something where you're going to be charging up to level 2 and 3, this is a very cool art to try out. Overall, Guild, Aerial, and Adept Style remain the popular choices once more in Generations Ultimate, but I do see some potential for Alchemy in a multiplayer setting. The buffs they gave Aerial and the arts are greatly appreciated as well. Honestly, the hammer has always been about simplicity anyway, so the fact that these styles remain king makes kind of sense. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, happy hunting.